Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. Wow, this is a busy place, guys. Spirit Halloween, Medina, Ohio. Let's go check it out. It looks very small from the outside, but you never know. Sometimes it's the small ones that really surprise. All right, guys, every store I walk into looks totally different. And look who we have right up front here. I don't think I have seen this guy up front in any stores before. Before we check him out, though, let's go ahead and do the Wheel of Fate. I actually had a weird dream last night about a Wheel of Fate type thing that just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. Will it end? What will it be? Oh, I see. This is kind of just hanging there, so it's not really... Let's just stop it right there. Quit clowning around. Try again. <laughs> All right. Speaking of clowning around, let's go ahead and get art going here. Listen to how you can hear him creaking when he turns. That creaking actually makes him even creepier. All right, we got the demonic gatekeeper here, and this guy is actually much bigger than I ever thought he would be in person. Oh, he's pretty loud, too. <laughs> and look at the size of his hands down here. Those are some serious meat hooks. Ooh, and look at this. It looks like Nibbles is actually supposed to be right here, but we have Cotton Candy Dan. So let's go ahead and get him going. What if Cotton Candy Dan just started following me? We've added some new ingredients. Let's go ahead and do him again, because I want to hear his other phrases. Attention all kiddos! Attention all kiddos! I found a lost parent! <laughs> Listen to that, you can hear his jaw going crazy. <laughs> Sounds like a machine gun. That jaw just cracks me up. All right, before we move on, here's some buckets. Let's put the stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. And one for the unicorn. All right, let's keep moving on around here. And I see we got sitting Scarecrow over here. He's got a step pad, but let's see if, no, okay, hold on. Let's add a couple of stickers to his mix here and then get him going. And we got old Mackie over here. Oh, he must be on the sensor. <laughs> he is super loud in here too. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys happen to come to Medina, I was driving through the square and they have the whole thing decked out and very spooky. And the sounds that he's making right there were the sounds I was hearing in my head as I was driving through seeing all the spookiness. I want to look at this Jason Voorhees uh, jersey here for a minute because this is cool. It's actually like 
a jersey and a hoodie mixed in one that's pretty sweet f13 on the shoulders we got jason's mask on the front embroidered jason Voorhees there and yeah the back has the hoodie this says jason f13 and i just did a video of all the costumes in one store the other day but i wanted to take a look at this killy willy costume because look at this this thing is absolutely creepy and i would not want to wake up and see this thing waiting for me at the foot of my bed okay let's go ahead and take a walk through the store here see if there's any yes animatronics for sale on the floor we've got a whole plethora of sitting scarecrows here in fact two of them are scary sitting scarecrows three are regular sitting scarecrows we've got another plethora over here of bubba's one two three four man's possessed friends we got a night terror over here a ton of jumping spiders all right let's see we got the brown one here we got the black and red um we got a black one down here a couple of them on the bottom the only one i don't see is the gray but we still could find them somewhere else in the store usually these stores have the jumping spiders everywhere we've got three wanda webworths here and another night terror down below let's just look at wanda here for a minute okay 269.99 spirit exclusive wanda webworth moves mouth moves and front arms move up and down posable arms eyes light up with red leds hisses and plays spooky noises we know what that sounds like stands six feet tall at the tallest point what do you guys think about her have you bought wanda webworth and did she meet or exceed your expectations she is definitely another one i would not want to wake up and see at the foot of my bed waiting to attack and look who we have right back here at a reduced price of 164.49 it's cotton candy dan what is the reason for that no motion prop only does not move or make sound 164.49 that is a pretty dang good deal for a cotton candy dan who doesn't move <laughs> i see a lot of people post online though on like the facebook group the spirit halloween facebook group where they buy these at a discount in the store because they're not working correctly and then they get them home and they're actually able to fix them so that is actually half price if you wanted to take the chance of getting him and fixing him i mean nothing else appears to be broken on him is it, whoa there's other things in there people are just kind of dropping in the box anyways yeah you could probably fix him but yeah for that price it would probably be worth it to get him just as a standalone prop or to try to fix him and if you didn't want to do that there is another cotton candy dan right behind him and here we got two demonic gatekeepers let's just look at him a minute too because he is so cool like when i saw him online i wasn't sure what i was going to think of him but let's see lights up with orange led speaks four lines while laughing evilly we only heard one let's go back up there and look at him real quick okay let's go ahead and see what else he says <laughs> <laughs> I love his laugh. All right, so that's two things we've heard him say. I am the guardian of tormented souls. You have crossed over into my world. Now you will endure eternal pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's three. One more. <laughs> I have been patiently waiting. Your destiny now lies with me forever. <laughs> I don't know if that was the first thing we heard him say or not. The box said that he says four things, so let's just do one more here just in case. Abandon all hope. There is no escape. <laughs> Your soul is mine. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just realized, isn't he supposed to be like rising up? 
I think he starts low and then he's supposed to rise up and then he goes back down. Let's look at the box again. Yeah, okay, here we go. Raises from three feet, five inches to four feet, seven inches. So that one up there, even though he looks and sounds absolutely awesome, he's not doing the raising. But when you add in the raising, he is totally awesome. His laugh is probably one of my favorite laughs I've ever heard from one of these animatronics. All right, let's keep going. Look at this. They're still putting tons of stuff out in here, and we got a lot more to look at here. We got the light-up ghost face where the face and the knife lights up, and then he makes slashing and screaming noises. We got a max straw down here on the bottom. We got a ringmaster back here, aka Shack Attack, and a towering Tallulah. It's funny because I've seen towering Tallulah missing an arm in at least two stores, maybe even three. And I can only imagine that like when she shoots up, that arm goes flying off. And then back here we've got two gravestone ghouls. It looks like we've got some empty soul girls on swings, a whole plethora. We got a stuffed dummy prop and some sinister spirit dolls. And it appears that that is probably all the animatronics that are for sale on the floor, but that's a whole bunch. Wait a minute, look at this just like I said guys back here in the corner all alone by himself is a gray jumping spider we got the hook head hog and the hook eye guy we got this disgusting spider sack here groundbreaking skeleton groundbreaking zombie groundbreaking pumpkin jack-o-lantern pathway markers zombie arm pathway markers we've got the hair the purple hair clown with the spinning eyes inflatable let's leave some stickers in the skull the skull the skull and a few in the cauldron we got the animated tombstone here here lies this guy with the red spooky eye <laughs> Let's look at these severed parts here for a minute, because I've never spent a lot of time with these. The hand cracks me up. Look how the bone is sticking out, and look at the way the hand is shaped right there. Almost like it was reaching for you. Reaching, and then someone cut it off. We got the severed foot that has two bones sticking out. That's hilarious. That's got to be about a size nine. The severed arm with two bones sticking out. And look how the fingers are just slightly eaten away. We got another severed hand here. And the severed leg. I was going to say this looks like the one that people always have like hanging out their trunk. But I don't think it is. I think there's like a little thing that hooks on on those. So these spiders up here on my way over I saw a house. Usually you see like all the skeletons climbing the house. It was all all spiders. There must have been about 40 of them. We got another cauldron here. We got the Chuck talk. We got the talking Chucky here, but inside the box, you cannot hear a word he's saying. Electrified pathway markers. Oh, look, they actually have two of the animatronic IR beam activators here. I bought one of these the other day, and I can't wait to see how it works. We got these hanging guys. I think this guy lights up. Yeah, check that out. He's pretty cool. Oh, and so does this guy. He makes sounds, but the music is kind of loud, so you can't hear it. I like how he looks like the lightning, though. Let's see if our clown will. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> the shaky clown. We got the walking monster hands here. This one's bloody, this one green. Let's come back and look at the masks here for a minute, see if there's any we haven't seen. I love this Frankenstein mask. I've never bought it, but I keep saying I'm going to. And this one reminds me of the beginning of Halloween 1978. Now I want to go home and watch it. And this one reminds me that I'm hungry for a grilled cheese. This one reminds me of a movie called Feast, which... I was really excited to see when I heard it was coming out. It was on that show Project Greenlight, and it turned out to be so corny. Leatherface, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers. This is probably my least favorite Michael Myers mask. In fact, let's go back up front a minute because they have more. Yeah, right in here. So this one is from 2018, and this is actually one of my favorites, even though I didn't really like that movie all that much. And I don't see the 1978 version. I mean, this is kind of what it's supposed to be, but this is just a plastic mask. And these are Halloween 2 down here. This one is, yeah, I don't know. Let's look at the Sam stuff real quick here, because this guy looks totally awesome. The Sam plush. Do I own him? 
I don't even remember if I've ever bought him. You guys tell me because you've watched these videos a million times. Did I ever buy the plush Sam with his little sack and his sucker? These crack me up. The Holly Ho earrings and the Holly Ho hair clip. Wait, here's a Frankenstein mask. I don't think I've seen. This one's just plastic and that actually looks pretty awesome that would go perfect downstairs in my movie room put a nail in the wall and just hang it right on there i don't have a place for it though i've got so much stuff on the walls right now here's a couple costumes i didn't see the other day when i did the costume video we got a foxy jumpsuit and the invisible man if you haven't watched that video make sure you go watch it because i went into a store i was there for five hours i may have already said this filming every single costume in the entire store all right, let's say hello to our zombie babies and the cats and animals before we go. We got a couple of the baby peekaboo clowns. We got the ghost face, the hand eater, the Pennywise horror baby, another ghost face. We got the terror fire, terror fire horror babies, the Michael Myers, the rat eater, the spider biter, the pumpkin eater, and the singing baby. Hello, rat. Scabs and the secret keeping cat. The murderous crows and Steven Seagulls. And the creeping cats and the zombie squirrels. All right, guys, that's it. Medina, Ohio, Spirit Halloween. Stick around because it is only the beginning of October. We have plenty more locations to go.